CrazyMikesApps.com with an iPad app video demo for tower defense game Towers Rush. This TD game takes you on an epic journey through three dynamic 3D game environments featuring six unique towers, 40 different monsters, original music, and endless waves of enemies to destroy. As we get into the action, there are three game areas, Dark Cave, Death Fortress, and the King's Tomb. When you first start, King's Tomb is only one unlock. Tap in the center to get into the action. Square yellow blocks are where you can place your turrets. The colored turrets in the bottom left are the ones you have enough cash to purchase and you get cash for killing enemies. Notice I have three areas where enemies are coming out of. Now during the gameplay you can tap on the cog in the top upper left and you can pause the game, go back to the main menu or reload the game if you had a bad start. As you can see all towers can be upgraded up to level 5 and again it's all based on the cash. You get cash from killing enemies. You have three areas to watch out for. Your portal's at the very bottom of the game board. You'll see it. It uh, glows when you get to it. It gets very heavy duty. Top left, notice that I'm on the sixth wave, but each wave has multiple waves and multiple enemies. There are some boss enemies thrown in. And again, when you have this many enemies, you're going to earn some cash, but you need to turn around and build the correct turrets. As you can see, the time clock counted down in between wave changes from six to seven. I had a little time to build turrets, upgrade turrets, what have you. This is an example of a boss that keeps coming. If I didn't have enough powerful turrets, it wouldn't have been taken out. And it will come out of the other two portals as it did when you play that wave number seven. Also, some harder enemies will come out and you gotta gauge again where they are coming from. And you're gonna get a lot of enemies as you can see here still in wave seven. You can maximize your turrets, and again, the portals there are glowing there and kind of swirling at the bottom center. Uh, this game has a lot of gameplay. Each area is over an hour, maybe two hours of gameplay, depending if you're able to beat it. And again, this app is 99 cents. There are no in-app purchases, and it's iOS Universal. There's a light version as well in the iTunes App Store. I succeeded and completed the King's Tomb. Now we go into the Death Fortress, and again, this is a very complicated map. There are, again, three areas, but there are some tricks to this. There are some flying enemies. You want to get the bolt, which is the its crossbow, and it's big, but it's a bolt. Also, notice we have an extra tower there, which is a freeze tower. Now I can zoom in by pinching out to get a good look at the enemies. There are original enemy sounds for the 40 different enemy types. There's a music for each of the three current game areas and again you can get a good look at the graphics in this 3d tower defense game towers rush again light version for the iOS light version also for Android and Google Play and the paid version and in the Amazon App Store you can download the paid version towers rush so it's pretty much in every app store notice how these flying enemies kind of deviate and they're gonna go down their own path they're not gonna follow the steps because they're flying they can do some significant damage. Notice my portal is down to 10 health. You start out with 50 each time you play, and once you lose all of your portal health, well, it's game over and you gotta start from the very beginning. This game, again, has a lot of gameplay. It's Towers Rush. You can see the website there from the home screen. Go to Facebook and check them out, like them, and you can download this app using the link below in the description or in iTunes. Again, both paid and free versions. Google Play for paid and freed versions and the Amazon App Store for the paid version. Till next time, Crazy Mike from CrazyMikesApps.com saying see ya.